Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you uh, and nice to be back here. This is a the long version of a, a video of a review of a razor. So this is just going to be the full length version. I'll do another version, a shorter version for, for those of you that want to just watch the review of the razor and my thoughts and see how it performs and stuff like that. But um, I've already recorded a little bit at the start just to show what I'm using in that. But let me show you the razor first. Um, this is a razor, brand new, just out today from Aylesworth Razors. Um, three piece razor, stainless steel, made in the USA. Yeah, here it is here. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, it just came out today, December 1st. So um, you can go and have a look on the website and um, if you like what you see, you can order it. I'm not sure of the price point, um, not entirely sure, but I've made a, a, another kind of little short video um, of me showcasing this razor, just kind of unboxing it and stuff like that. Uh, so here's the top cap here. And here is the base cap. Very, very nicely made. Nicely finished. Pink lather channels there. There's the handle. Yeah, stainless steel. Um, right, before I show you the rest of it, let me show you um, a little piece of paper with all the specs and stuff on it uh, about the razor. So that's a little bit of specs about the, the new Aylesworth Apex. Um, very kindly sent to me uh, to review, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a brand new Viking sword. Uh, one of my favourite blades. Very smooth. Um, I'll just get that out of the wrapper. Here it is here. Super stainless steel. Polymer coated. So I'll just put that onto the top cap. Like so, base cap goes on like that. The little plastic washer that they, Aylesworth Razor supplied at, so you don't have to go looking for one. Uh, and it just, the threading on this is very, very smooth. Yeah, lovely piece of um, kit. No overhang, no blade tabs overhanging at the side. And there's the blade exposure there. Yeah, so a very, very nice razor. Um, the soap is, Henrix Classics & Co. Uh, and this is Citrus Bomb. Um, let me just get my notes out here. Uh, yeah, Citrus Bomb this is called. And it's primarily a grapefruit, but um, there is other things going on in it. It used to be called uh, something else. What was it called before? It was called Ruby Red and then exotic grapefruit. Then I am CDB, Christopher David Bailey. He made a video and he said, it's just a citrus bomb. <laughs> and he's right. So they changed the name of it to that. Um, it's just pure citrus. Um, here's the ingredients of the soap. If you wanna take a look at that and pause it. Made in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Right, I'm gonna be bowl lathering in the um, Kevy Shaves bowl. So what I'll do is, I'll take a, just get my thumbnail, I just scoop out a little bit from the side there, like that much. So there it's there. <laughs> and then I'll just uh, take it from there, press it into the bowl, into the bottom of the bowl, and just spread it around. Yeah, this is quite a, it's a soft texture. It's not really, really soft. It's not like a, I wouldn't say it's a, a cream or a crope. It's just a soft soap, um, but easy to spread round in a bowl if you if you want to bowl lather with it. Nice scent, yeah. Scent strength, I would say grapefruit, probably maybe about a six. Quite punchy, really nice, really really nice scent. Um, so there it is in the bowl. Right, the brush. I have uh, some words about this brush. <laughs> I was sent some new brushes by uh, Yaki. Now, some people say, Yaki always copy things and then, yeah, they do. I'll hold my hands up, yeah, they do, but they do them well. Um, I have a brush made by uh, Strike Gold Shave. Uh, here it is here. Yeah, this was made by um, Brush Guy. Um, very, very nice handle, beautiful to hold, really comfortable, nice swirls on that. Uh, it has a badger knot. 
there's a straight gold shave coin in the bottom. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful brush. Then Yaki come out with this. <laughs> now it's a little bit cheeky, a little bit mm, Yaki, come on now. But it's not an exact copy, but it's it's kind of along the lines, but this has a synthetic knot, but it's very, very nice. It's called Caramel. Um, has the coin in the bottom. Yeah, it looks good. It's not too dissimilar, it's, it is different um, to this brush. You know, it's shorter and it's the same kind of shape, not exactly the same, but you know, it's probably, I don't know, it'll, it'll probably perform just as well. Yeah, they, they had on the, um, the website, AliExpress, they had this as a, this, did they say cat hair, cat whiskers or something like that? But it's not, it's synthetic. It's definitely synthetic, but um, I'll put links for everything and you can go and have a look and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to be using today. Right. Um, right, let's get this uh, soap whipped up. I've washed this brush out. So, um, I'll just give it a couple of flicks and just go in here. Yeah, so um, a new razor for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, this can take a, a good amount of water. That was lots of water I put in that. So what I'm doing, just keep working it. And you'll think to yourself, that's far too airy, Kevin, and frothy. But if you just keep working it, it will come together. Yeah, so how are you? How's things? Good, where you are. We've had a, a bit of a cold snap. We've had little flurries of snow. Um, nothing too drastic. Look at this hair. I need to get a haircut. Uh, nothing too drastic, but um, it's getting really cold. And I'm trying to get the shave done while there's still some light. Yeah, I can really, really smell the, the soap, the citrus bomb. Yeah, so it's coming together now. Nice brush from Yaki. I don't know the price point of this. I think they do it in Badger as well. They send me it in Badger, um, a Badger knot as well. So if, if that's still your thing, or if you want a synthetic knot, you can take a look. Another ton of water there. And these Henrix Classics and Co. Yeah, so um, if you're bored already watching this, watch, go watch the short version. Well, I, where I just kind of speak about the razor and stuff. It will be the same shave, but the kind of way I edit it down and stuff like that, I, I'm just kind of trying to make it shorter so people aren't like listening to all this waffle. <laughs> like, come on with it, Kevy. Hey, sorry. Yeah, so it just means um, there's a little bit more work to do in the editing, but I don't mind. It's, what, it's uh, good for the viewers, so there we go. Right, look at this. That's good enough. Right, let's wet the face. And we'll get going with this lather. Yeah, if you like um, citrus scents, you'll love this. This um, 26 millimeter synthetic knot has whipped this up, no problem. Thick, rich, creamy lather. Yeah, I've seen those um, Viking sword blades and I just thought I haven't used one of them for a long time. And um, they're one of my favourite blades actually. I think they're, they might be Persona blades, kind of rebranded, uh, Persona reds, I don't know. Um, someone told me that that's what they might be, so this is a great lather, really nice. How's the weather where you are? Have you had any um, cold yet? or snow. I don't, I don't like the cold weather. 
Give me a hot day every, every day. When you grew up in Scotland for 54 years, <laughs> a warm day sounds great. That's really nice. Good lather. Uh, so my shirt here. Let me just put that. Right, I'll put some heat into the Galesworth Apex. First pass with the Aylesworth Apex Razor. The brand new Viking Sword Blade. Yeah, they said the, uh, the angle for this was uh, 30 degrees, which is kind of intuitive. It feels nice, nice and smooth. Easy to find the angle. Uh, I really like the balance on this. The handle is extremely grippy. Yeah, no sign of um, it slipping. Yeah, I think Aylesworth have the, uh, is it the Dracant? Which I know they did in Titanium, but I don't know whether they will eventually offer this in Titanium. It feels very smooth. It's a, uh, although it's a 0.99 blade gap, it doesn't feel anything like that. There is a tiny bit of blade feel, but nothing really to write home about. Nice. Slim enough um, profile to get under the nose. I noticed this. Um, there's like a, a kind of like a channel here on the, the top cap. I'm um, not sure what that's for or what it does, but feels nice. Right, first pass done. Yeah, very good, that soap is great. There's a couple of weepers there, but yeah, very smooth. That's, that's mowed down a lot of hair there. Right, I'll rinse this off and I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, back for the second pass. Back to the, uh, the cheeky yaki caramel. <laughs> Yeah, the scent on this soap is uh, lovely. It's grapefruit forward, but you can also smell uh, the, the combination of citrus in there. Mm. Are you going to eat it, Kevin? No. Very nice. Do you play with your soap like that, with your lather? Yay, way! No, just me then, is it? All oh, right, okay. <laughs> How's your shaves going? Good? I hope so. Right. Pass number two with the Aylesworth Apex Cross the Growth. Yeah, no overhang, so...
you don't have to worry too much about um, under your nose and stuff. It feels uh, very smooth in use. I'm not sure the uh, price point of this at this time it just released, but I will put a link to the website and you can go and have a look for yourself. Yeah, very smooth, superb grip. This handle is really nice. It feels um, quality. You know, just some of the razors you get, you just feel them and they just, they just feel like, um, you know they're going to be good. Great slickness on that soap. The residual slickness is superb. Right, second pass done. Not much left. Really not much left. <laughs> but if I go like that, I can feel a little bit. So let me rinse and I'll come back for the third pass. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Yeah, great slickness, really, really good. Hendrix Classics and Co. Um, good soaps, just good soaps. Citrus Bomb. Yeah, it was, um, the name was changed by IMCDB, who I've not heard from for a while. I know he had some, like, family stuff going on. Um, has anyone heard from him? Um, I just wonder how he is. I don't want to, um, you know, be contacting him in case he's got stuff he's dealing with or stuff like that, you know. More important stuff than shaving. But um, I don't know, if, any, if anyone's heard any updates, let me know in the comments how he is. Chris, if you see this, I hope you're well buddy and I hope everything is going okay. Right. Yeah, look how much uh, soap's in that brush. Nice knot, that. Cat whiskers. I don't know why they put that on the, on the, web, on the website. That's a bizarre thing to say, but um, they do say it's synthetic hair, but unless it's supposed to look like like a cat's tail, or I don't know, I don't know. Right, third pass with the Aylesworth Apex against the growth. And that feedback. Yeah, very um, audible razor, which is good. Uh, I think the blade gap is 0 0.99 millimeter and the exposure is 0. Point, is it, uh, 0 0.125. So it's a little bit positive blade exposure, but I tell you what, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel anything like that. Listen to that. Yeah, sometimes when you get a razor that's um that much of a blade gap, you, you kind of feel the blade a little bit, but not really with this. Like I said, there is a tiny little bit, but out of 10, I would say it's a probably about a one or a two. In terms of blade feel.
Yeah, very good. Very good under the nose here. Good slickness on that. Right, let's have a little uh, rinse. Wow. Ooh, is there anything? There's a tiny bit here. There's hardly anything here, which is a good sign. I'll just go over this. It's the tiniest little bit here. Would this be a daily driver? Uh, I would say definitely yes. It's smooth enough. Right, three passes, pickups done, feels good. Right, let me come back in just a second and I'll give you my final thoughts for the short video on the Aylesworth Apex. And for those of you that are sticking around, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna have a face wash here, but don't tell the short video people. <laughs> the short video people. Right, so let's see how much is uh, left in this brush. Yeah, face wash time. Mmm. It's like a citrus canyon. What? It's like a citrus canyon. All right. Like the Grand Canyon filled with citrus stuff, grapefruit and oranges and lemons and limes and other citrus fruits. Like apples? No, you're trying to trick me. Right, face wash time. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Once this is cleaned out or the bow shave. Citrus Canyon! Here we go. Wow. That is super, super smooth. And my skin feels amazing. Really, really good. Right, on to the post shave. Um, a little bit of witch hazel. Yeah, unfortunately, because the splash is alcohol based, I couldn't get the Hendrix um, Classics & Co. aftershave for the soap, the citrus balm. Maybe I could just squeeze an orange and a lime and a lemon into an aftershave bottle and just, <laughs> just use that. Okay, this is serious, stop mucking about in the shave. Sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna use, for the aftershave, Mersol Blue. I just seen this and I thought, that's nice. It's a nice scent. It's a kind of barbershop-y scent, but it's nice. There we go. Just a, does it complement the citrus? Not really, but this is a nice scent and the Mersol splashes are really, really good. As some of you will know. There we go. That's the shave. Right, let me go over what we've used again. The brush for today's shave was the Yaki Caramel with the, the coin in the bottom. Yeah, good brush, 26 millimeter synthetic knot. Um, it looks like another brush I have. Yaki. Um, but it's not the same, it's not exactly the same, but it's a, it's a good brush. <laughs> yaki, Yaki, I've never seen a bad Yaki brush yet. Synthetic knot, if that's your thing. The soap was the Henrik's Classics and Co. Citrus Balm. Uh, there it is there. Yeah, great soap. Really, really nice. Predominantly grapefruit, but it has other hints of citrus in it, which are just great. Uh, we bull added that in the Kevy Shaves bowl. There we go. All cleaned out. The razor for today, star of the shave, was the Aylesworth Apex. Three-piece uh, razor, new one from Aylesworth Razors. All made in the States. Yeah, great balance and great um, shave from it. Just a great shave. It's just a it's just a nice razor. You know, it's just one of these razors that's just it looks good, feels good in the hand, everything is good about it. It's well designed, it shaves great. 
what's not what's not to like you don't have to faff about with any adjustments and stuff like that but um yeah it's just it just works and um, i think this could definitely be like a daily shaver like if you're a two pass two pass shave this would definitely work for you definitely inside that was a brand new viking sword blade very very good blade in that razor i, I want to try different blades in it um because i think it'll be very very interesting mm. right and uh post shave three passes and pickups not much pickups but there was some was um some of the switch hazel and finished it off with Mersol Blue. And that's it, I don't feel my skin needs any kind of moisturizer, stuff like that. Why put it on? Ah, why not? I'll maybe put some on after. But uh, that's the shave for today. Yeah, so links for everything will be in the description of this video. Uh, this is the long version. Oh, you should have heard what I said in the short version about you guys. Yeah? No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I never said it. Don't go and watch the short video because it's like, it's not. there's nothing in it. I never said anything about you, I promise. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, I hope your shades are going well. I hope it's not too cold where you are. I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. It's not that soon. Oh, it's not that soon. It's not that long until Christmas. Maybe three, three, four, three weeks, three and about weeks. Oh, God, where does the time go? Right, anyway, I shall see you because it's getting dark here. Um, I shall see you in the next shave. Until then, take care.